Good morning, everybody. I am making a pot of my grandmother's pasta fajol, so I wanted to share it with you how I make it. So the ingredients, salt, crushed red pepper, garlic I'm gonna chop, fresh celery I'm gonna chop, and the carrots. Then I take these three and I first saute them in olive oil. Then I throw in a can of chopped peeled tomatoes and about like two tablespoons of the tomato paste. You're gonna need, I use Goya small white beans. I have two cans out because I'm actually doubling this. I'm going to use two cans of the tomatoes because then I freeze a container. Then at the end, I saute, I'm gonna clean and chop up escarole. And then I toss that in, you'll see that at the end. And then I use, well, you can use any kind of small pasta you want. I, mean, I like the small shells. So join me in my grandmother's pasta fajol. Sorry guys, and some fresh parsley, I'm going to chop into it also. So I let the olive oil get very hot. Then I'm going to toss in my chopped garlic. And in the chopper, I chopped the parsley, carrots, and celery, and I'm going to toss that in now as it's sauteing. I'm going to add a little crushed red pepper. You don't have to, you can use black pepper. I don't use black pepper really often, I like crushed red pepper. And then I also, as I eat it, I throw more crushed red pepper when it's done and I am eating it. So I'm gonna let that saute till soft. Okay, so I added in my two cans of peeled tomatoes. Two, because I'm doubling it, it two teaspoons of tomato paste. And now I'm gonna let this simmer for a bit and then I will throw in the white beans and we'll go from there. Okay, so for about 30 minutes, I let it simmer with the top on and let it breathe a little bit. And now I added in my white cannel, small white cannellini Goya beans. So as soon as this gets nice and heated again, I start to smash the beans, you kind of want to smash the beans up into there, like puree them, but with your spoon. I also tasted and it needed a little bit more salt. So I added a little more salt. And see, I just let it breathe a little bit as it cooks. Okay, at this point now that I smashed down all the beans, chopped all the tomatoes while in there with a spoon, and let it simmer for like 30 minutes on very low. I always cook it on very low throughout. And now I have my oil getting hot. I washed all my escarole leaf by leaf and I am going to chop it into, you know, just chop it up a little bit and then just saute it by itself. No more garlic. There's enough garlic in the pasta fajol. And as soon as that gets hot, I'm going to throw in the chopped up escarole. Okay, here's my chopped up escarole, put in the hot oil, keep stirring it, it cooks really, really fast. I'm going to put a lid on it for about a minute and then you'll see how it looks. I just want to cover it for like a minute and then take the lid off. I forgot to add salt, so I'm going to just throw in a little bit of salt. Okay. Stir, I'm going to stir it, lid back on. He so the escarole is done. I actually had a little bit of baby spinach left from a salad I did last weekend. So there were like a few pieces left in the bag and I just threw those in also. Now with its liquid everything, I am just going to pick up this whole pot and I am going to dump it into the pasta. The fu it's not pasta fajol yet because I didn't make the pasta. The fajol. Still gonna work on smashing some more of these beans up as I go along. But this is it, it's done. I literally, I might turn this on and simmer it for another maybe 15 minutes, I don't know. Um, it tastes so good, guys. And what gave me the inspiration to make a pot of my grandmother's pasta fudge all of it in so long was that I was in the mood for, for it a couple weeks ago and I ordered it through DoorDash for myself and it was $12 for this like 
little pint of pasta fajol. Was it good? Yeah, it was. They make it really good at the place I get my pizza from. They do make it good. But I was like $12 for this little small. It wasn't even like a bigger. It was one of the small soup containers. And that's when I said, okay, I need to start making it again because I can't afford to pay that. And um, so now with this, I can, I'm going to freeze some. I'm going to freeze a nice big container for a cold winter day. I'm going to bring a container to my daughter's house for them. And um, yeah, so now I'm going to cook the pastas and I keep them on the side. I do not put the pasta in here because it messes up the broth that I like. My pasta fajol brothy. So I'm going to boil water and cook pasta when I get back from walking semper. Another thing, guys, I should have grabbed two heads of escarole. So what I'm going to do with the container I freeze is try to not put any of the escarole in. And um, when I take it out of the freezer, I will go grab another head of escarole, saute it, and add it in. I thought yesterday when I went food shopping, should I get two heads of escarole? I don't know what may me not, but I should have. Okay, you guys. I'm getting ready to have a bowl of my pasta fajol. I'm gonna throw a little grated cheese, some more crushed red pepper. If you have some nice Italian bread, it's perfect for this. I do have bread, but I'm not having bread tonight. And it's so healthy. Yeah, all right. Thank you guys, bye.